Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising, a monthly star reading, November 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to uh, shuffle the tarot cards, and we are to jump right into it. Alright, so the first card which stands for the topic of uh, your month Leo, this is going to be the Queen of Cups, followed by the next one which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, we do have the Star card, followed by the uh, best intentions that you can have throughout the month or the best possible course of action, this is going to be the Hangman. Afterwards, the next card, it represents the lesson that you need to learn throughout the month or why this is all happening. Uh, this is going to be the sun, the sun card. And the last one, which stands for the uh, guidance, not guidance, excuse me, but the positive energies that the tarot um, is showing that are going to help you. These energies that are going to help you throughout the month. That is going to be the five of uh, the five of swords. And that is going to be a pretty interesting one <clears throat> I'm sorry yeah it's quite it's quite peculiar reading but before we go to that and pick up the cards one by one let's run them down one more time so we do have the Queen of Cups standing as the topic of the month the general team followed by the next one which stands for the challenges that you need to overcome here that is going to be the star card followed by the intentions the best intentions you can have or the things that you should do here this is the hangman afterwards it is the lesson that you need to learn throughout the month or why this is all happening that is going to be the sun and the final card it is the energies that are to support you throughout the month that is going to be the five of swords <clears throat> i'm sorry guys okay so um the first one which is the topic is going to be the queen of cups and it is uh, catalyzed by the knight of pentacles the knight of pentacles in this deck it uh, represents the king of pentacles in the traditional tarot Wow, okay, so this is a very uh, strong person that is going to be your topic and your team. And strong in the sense of that they have pretty much made up their mind. And they do not give up that lightly from fixed ideas, you know, or from fixed relationships or from fixed, um, how can I say it? Um, career endeavors as well. I, and in generally, they... They are pretty much settled. This is what I'm trying to say. Uh, why I'm telling you that? It is because um, uh, whatever uh, it is the job or whatever it is the deal in between you and that Queen of uh, Cups, it pretty much it looks like that you are the only one who can walk away. They are gonna fight with foot and nail with feet and nails to the very end of it. They would like to see it finished. Okay. 
And uh, the thing is that this Queen of Cups, it's, uh, it's a person who knows you very well. They truly understand your inner nature. They understand what you feel, how you feel it, what you want, what are you dealing with, what your plights are, and they are as well very discreet about it also. <clears throat> that is a person who always will be willing to give you a shoulder to cry on, always will try to help you, but you should not mistake that thing for charity. It, they are generous in general, all right? Generous in general, yeah? But also they want to see that you are making some efforts from from the other side as well. It, now I don't want to lie to you guys. This looks fantastic in regards to a personal relationships. I just, it speaks for a consolidating and an emotional state with mutual understanding and kind of mutual support as well. And when that ends, this... Um, <clears throat> romance let's say or an emotional connection then it is discussed how that thing is going to evolve even further right but once again in order this to happen you also need to do your part well not exactly do your part but that person at least uh, this queen of cups at least needs to see that you are interested in it that, that you are not indifferent in regards to the endeavor either career wise or either relationship wise as well and they will help you with whatever they can and with whatever they cannot as well they're gonna just find a way to do it <clears throat> but once again uh it's it's just you know you cannot simply let it go to happen you know how can i say it without you even glancing at it, even without you even lifting your pinky finger for it. That is, of course, if you do want it. If you don't want it, well, that then the, the thing is pretty simple. Just don't do nothing about it. Don't pay attention to this person, Queen of Cups. Of course, that is going to break that person's heart. But at the end of the day, you know, everybody goes with their own fate. Uh, the next one, it regards to the challenges that you need to overcome here. We do have the star card and it is uh, catalyzed by the two of pentacles. <clears throat> and I kind of suspected that we're going to have a similar uh, situation, similar uh, position here. Uh, not because we do have the star card, but because of the hangman in the third one. Um, pretty much uh, what this points is that although you're going to have uh, the... Um, how can I say it? Uh, you're gonna have the prerequisites of in the face of this person, the Queen of uh, the Queen of Cups. Still, the circumstances are not gonna be right, so the endeavor can be initiated, or the enterprise can be initiated, either you know, a business-wise or relationship-wise. That is, there are gonna be way too much exterior circumstances that are obstructing. Yeah, the, the mutual performance moving on forward with the common agenda and with the common goal. If you will, there could be as well a um, exterior circumstances that are depriving you both spending time together and that you are having way too much uh, individual um, <clears throat> attendances that you need to take care of before you can actually combine and make the cooperation either career-wise or either relationship-wise. And why this is a challenge? It's no different than um, uh, when you just met someone and you expect that you're gonna call and text every day, but suddenly you both are very, very busy, you know, and you haven't called each other or you haven't heard from each other for a week and pretty much you both are starting to imagine that you simply forget for one another all right so it's something like that you're not going to be able to give to each other as much as you want to give to each other and that is going to place this assumption that things are not going to work out that is the challenge that you need to overcome and it does require a very very strong will and also clamorous belief for the bright future that is yet to come uh, will connect you and this uh, Queen of Cups person. So the next one, it is the Hangman and that is intentional wise and it is accompanied here by the Ace of Cups. 
I now in my mind when I look at this, this is a, a, a passive supporters, and the when I saw this, in my mind instantly jumped that song from Phil Collins, "Love Don't Come Easy," you know, or you can't hurry love. Uh, the 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 other song was different, but you can't hurry love. This is uh, the, the the first thing that came to my mind when I saw this combo. And yeah, pretty much intentional wise, these two cards are pointing that the good thing happens with at the right moment and in the right time. But right now, the circumstances, like I said, are not right. So the right time can't come around. And for that reason, you gotta be intentional wise, you gotta be patient. Why? It is because what happens to you and this month is gonna be simultaneously a test and a breakthrough. Why test? So if you will, God or universe, depends on what you believe in, to see how much you want it. And this is only happening through the universe or God seeing you know how consistent you are with it, how much you wish it. And for that reason, you know, the majority of your attempts throughout the months may end up futile. But still, you know, the perspective is going to be in front of you with this person, Queen of Cups, and believing into that perspective and not giving up from it, suddenly uh, the enterprise you seek is going to happen, is going to make your, um, your previous worries and previous problems completely, completely irrelevant. Not to mention that some um, beliefs and as well some position, uh, how can I say it, concepts are going to become completely outdated. And here we do see a lot of content as a sensual joy as well. And if you will, a, a transcending of one's reality when everything kind of unblocks. But for that to happen, once again, you have to patiently wait because the hangman, it is the card saying that the skies darken are going to be set into light again. And the only thing you got to do is just wait it out. That, that's the whole thing. The more you try to alter it, the worse the situation happens. So intentional wise, you just give the person a space, ask them to give you as much space as well as you need and just do attend to these peripheral activities that are obstructing you both. And once they are cleared, then the situation in between you two is going to be set in stir once again. So the next one, it is the lesson uh, why this is all happening. We do have the sun card here and it is accompanied by the chariot. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, it's, um, it's a pretty vulgar lesson, actually. Uh, we do have an active uh, enemies. And pretty much the lesson is this. If you push it at the end of the day, it's uh, very likely to be a shit. That, that's the whole thing with uh, the lesson. All right. So do not, the good things cannot be pushed. It is what these two cards are saying. Or this is your lesson here. They have to happen naturally on their own accord where the um, where the circumstances predispose thriving environment and a, a field of growth if you will right and um, lesson wise as well it's it's a bit difficult to explain it but also these two cards are pointing that happiness doesn't necessarily have to be related only to one thing, only to, to one thing. I mean, you alone hold the key to your own happiness. And if you can't be happy at this moment with this person here, the Queen of Cups, you definitely can be happy with something else. It is just you need to find it so you can persevere through the time of waiting, right? Through the, through the time of uh, inactivity with the person of the Queen of Cups and uh, therefore to maintain your positive attitude but above everything else also is to share your happiness with the rest with the world take it that way this month is going to teach you despite everything that is going on around you you are going to be that gentle soul that floats the golden sky dropping a bit of happiness everywhere it goes contributing for the happiness of the world. And so the last one here is going to be the five of swords. And this is uh, the uh, energies that are to help you to support you that is going to be the uh, with the world card. 
and the uh, combo it is a active uh, enemies pretty much energies are um, unwillingness denying failure simply much okay so you meet that person or you already have met you do have uh, the, your goal either career or relationship wise and although you may not have much time to spend together or it looks like that you're drifting apart these energies will help you to deny the failure to pretty much drift off your mind the the thoughts that the thing will never going to happen maintaining like i said your clamorous belief and uh, your attitude toward a successful lucrative emotionally beneficial and in general happy future with that person so that being said leo this was your week uh, monthly excuse me guys start reading for a november 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other next time until then, bye.